Five three four. We can just stop right here for a moment. Just have to look at something. We'll get back to you. Ramp, JetBlue. Five thirty five. Go ahead, JetBlue. Five thirty four. Yeah, we got a uh, left engine problem. So uh, just stand by with a chair. We'll get back to you. Roger, JetBlue. Five thirty four. Well, we're going to need to go back to the gate. We're going to coordinate with them now. Thank you. Roger, JetBlue. Five thirty four. And JetBlue 534, just be advised, we have air safety on their way as well. And our ramp for JetBlue 534, uh, just for precautions, it uh, looks like we, we spilled some fluid. Can we have a crash fire rescue? Just uh, take a quick look at it. Thank you. Roger, JetBlue 534. Thank you. JetBlue, yes, this is Airport Ops. Are you on? Airport Ops, go ahead, sir. Did a report you might have run over something, and where is it uh, you might have encountered the problem? I'm looking for it right now. Yeah, we have a total damage. Looks like we looks like we made a hit the tug. Um, so if uh, we could just have CGR just be on the safe side, that would be that would be great. Appreciate it. Okay, this happened on pushback. Yeah, they uh, they waved us off to clear that they were good to go, and it sounded like uh, we hit the tug. Okay, I think you can say nothing. All right, thank you. And we're for JetBlue 2757 uh, our ground. Uh, folks say that we have uh, fuel with you. What's your JetBlue? And uh, do you prefer us to stay on uh, your frequency, or would you like us to go on their frequency? I'm 34, Ram, go ahead. I just want to make sure that uh, there's no safety or application issues for not evacuating right now. I just want someone to tell me that we're okay on the outside with what's going on for my staff as well. Yeah, you seem good. We have airfield safety out there right now, and uh, they have the situation under control. Yeah, can you have somebody come on on the, on the mic outside just to stop the interruption on here? I, I just told my back through that. Officer hooking up to you right now. And Ops 2 3, sorry about that, but uh, Mike 3 of being Bravo 15, close 1 5 Delta Zulu. 5 Delta Zulu. Uh, 534. Ops 34, ramp, go ahead. Yeah, I need to have some kind of information. I realize you know, there's a lot of stuff going on outside, but uh, I just you know, have a lot of responsibility with folks on board. So I need to just figure out what the plan is. Uh, 34, are you on site right now? Are you looking at the airplane? Okay, so currently I'm seeing a lot of fire trucks out there. Um, here, let me talk to someone right now. Hey, City Mobile and Ramp Terry Frequency, uh, are you able to update Ops 34 on the situation outside the plane? I believe they're checking in. Trying to figure out how that truck got over there is another issue that the crew has. I don't know. It was way off the stage way. I'm trying to figure the whole thing out. Around the 534. Yeah, no, we're still not getting info from you. What we're asking, we're trying to figure out what's happening with the post. I want to get the plane evacuated. Okay, got it. Any um, any any of the airfield safety on Raptor frequency? Are are you guys able to evacuate the plane? 
Yeah, I'm Sergeant 5. Um, so I'm getting word from the pilot. They just kind of want to get a assessment of the situation uh, because the pilots have no idea what's going on. Roger. Uh, number one engine truck is just no bar. And uh, he, the pilot is saying that he wants to evacuate passengers. Are you guys able to do that? We're currently coordinating, uh, grabbing the air here to evacuate passengers. All right, Jeff Blue, 534, did you catch that? Yeah, I caught it. Uh, once again, it's just difficult um, for the two of us, you know, to assess uh, the safety. Um, uh, this is rescue 65 on uh, 127575 uh, we're making plans to disembark the plane to a jet bridge. So the plans are to tow it to a, to a jet. Wait, is, that, is that correct? Uh, negative. We have significant damage to your number one engine and the tug still in place there. We're going to get a spare truck to your L1 door, disembark the passengers, and escort them to a jet bridge. We're coordinating that now. Driver. I'm not really understanding how they got over there, but I just want to ask you, is there any injuries on the ground? Uh, no injuries at this time. Thank you, guys. Uh, so as far as my crew, uh, your plan is to be plane by air stairs, is that correct? That's affirmative. Be plane by air stairs, L1 door, and there is coordinating everything now. So hold tight. Thank you, sir. This is Rescue 65 from the Separate Aircraft. Uh, that's affirmative. Uh, do you still have your number two engine on? Negative. We're shut down. APU's running. Second thing. Yeah, this is uh, question six five. We're trying to get a hold of uh, Jeff Blue. He's out. How many uh, injuries if they have it? Jeff Blue, five thirty four ram. Uh, this re rescue is asking if you have any injuries on board. Okay, uh, yeah, here. Um, sorry, wrong one. Three. Uh, assessment in the cabin right now is is a okay. No issues. Uh, so no, at this time there's no injuries being reported. Uh, the only thing we do have for uh, extrication is we do have a wheelchair client, so that would be something I'll have to take in mind. Yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you. 